It's the deepest of deep cuts, so deep it seems to have lost itself halfway into the Earth's mantle, and that's a shame because it's a pretty little ditty, and today we are going to unearth, metaphor, <laughs> Smashing Pumpkins blank. In order to properly perform this piece, you're going to need to patoon your p guitar one half step down. So your E string is going to become E flat or D sharp. Your A string will be A flat or G sharp. Your D string turns into D flat or C sharp. G becomes G flat or F sharp. B becomes B flat or A sharp. And E, just like the other E string, turns into E flat or D sharp. Congratulations, you're now in this tuning. <laughs> Step one is put your pointer finger on E2 and your middle finger on G2. Here's the plucking pattern. Use it as a guide, but if you do it a little different, that's okay. But here's what Billy did. It's gonna be E, A, D, E, G, D, E, D. Then your ring finger is gonna go on E4, your pointer finger to D2, and your pinky finger to G4. Now it's gonna be E, D, I hit G, but it's okay because I said so. Then it's going to be A suspended too, so A with the B string open. A, D, G, A, B, G, D, G, twice. Now I will do the whole thing for you. half the song. The other half of the song is the exact same chords, but they switch twice as fast. The first time it happens is on the I'll write a letter to you line so you can recognize it. So what we're going to do is grab our E2 and our G2 and we're going to pluck E, D, G, but we're not going to have time to switch to the next chord if we don't do something and that something is pluck the open E string as the fourth pluck. Open E gives us time to switch to our 4 to 4, and it's going to be E, D, G, E. This time we do have time to pluck that bass note once more because the first note of the next chord is the open A string. And it's the same pattern as before, but you only do it once, not twice. So. chorus shall we say and the first time you do the chorus you do it three times I believe and the second time you do it a whole bunch of times you'll know but I wanted to take a moment and talk about these two unusual looking chords they're actually familiar chords believe it or not this first one the E to G to is a D chord D is made up of three notes we've got D A D again and F sharp D A and F sharp equals D in our open shape, one of them repeats. So when we've got this, we've got F sharp, it's a different order, A, D, and A again. So two A's this time, but still a very unusual looking D chord. This one on the other hand is an E chord. E is comprised of E, B, E, G sharp, B, and E. So E, B, and G sharp, and some of them repeat in our convenient open shape. So when we play G sharp, E, and B, those three notes are an E chord. Neat. So what is that information good for? Let's say you wanted to play this song for others, and you know, you're good at the intro until you start to sing. You could just do the intro, right? I'm just gonna do it my own way, nothing too in particular. Then, when you're going to start to sing, I wish I was blank. You just made your whole life like 18 times easier. And that is all I have to say about that. You got anything, Monarch? No?
she's got nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>